Okay, so let's see. If a wire has a magnetic field of 1.15 times 10 to the minus fourth teslas at a distance of 2.51 centimeters from its center, what is the current flowing in the wire? So now we're going to solve for the current. So B is mu naught I over 2 pi R, right? Um, and let's see, we're solving for the current. All right, so uh, let's plug this in. 1.15 times 10 to the minus fourth. Teslas equals 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7th tesla meters per amp, right? Times a current that we don't know, divided by 2 pi times uh, 0 0.0251 meters, right? So meters will go away, teslas will go away, and we'll end up with uh, amperes, right? Notice also that uh, 2 pi and 4 pi, right? That just becomes 2 times 10 to the minus 7th, right? So I'm going to go 1.15 e minus 4 uh, times 0 0.0251 divided by 2 e minus 7. And I get 14.4 amps, the current. Now, this is an interesting concept, right? You've got this wire flowing like this, right? Uh, current flowing like that, right? Okay, and then all we have to do is get a magnetic field sensor right next to the wire here. Put a sensor right there at 2.1, 2.51 centimeters, right? And if we add that thing up, if we add up all of that uh, magnetic field, right, at that point, and we measure that, we can tell without interrupting the wire, without cutting the wire and putting an ammeter in there, right? We can tell what current's flowing in that wire. Uh, in fact, people do this. There's a really cool ammeter you can buy. Whereas, let's say you've got a wire like this. They've got this, um, it's like a caliper that goes around the wire. In that thing, there's a million little sensors. Some will be closer to the wire. Some will be farther from the wire. Um, and it, it adds up that whole thing, basically uses Ampere's Law in kind of a numerical way. And it'll tell you that current. All you have to do is just sort of wrap it around the wire, kind of like your fingers wrap around the wire. Um, anyway totally more than you ever needed to know about that.